when your life is creating things, music or, or art, there's no, you know, clocking out really. It's just who I am, you know. So I made the decision at a young age that I'm an artist and that's it. The process of getting dirty and moving paint around with a brush, I really enjoy, you know. Graphic design is not everything. It's like in the t-shirts that you wear, the artwork, it's in the books that you read, the layouts, or it's in the magazines and everything. And so that's when I was like, oh, I could do that as a career. Art in schools gives kids something to look forward to, at least me. My graphic design class in 10th grade is when I fell in love. This art teacher, I can't, for the life of me, I can't remember her name even. I definitely remember uh, Miss Works. She was my art teacher at San Pedro High School. I, I tortured the poor lady, man, you know. Uh, I mean, I probably had something to do with her retiring, you know what I mean? Her main project through the course of the year was helping you learn how to build a portfolio and how to submit that for um, gallery shows. I can remember a certain class that I loved, and it was my graphic design class, and my teacher was Mr. Ernst. Schools absolutely need art to, to balance everything out. I mean, we kind of take it for granted that um, it's always been there, you know? I can't imagine a school saying, you know what, we don't have enough in the budget, let's cancel the art program. I mean, that would be you know, a terrible, terrible thing, you know? Imagine if somebody said, you know what, hey, we're gonna cut back on money for, the, uh, for math. No more math class. I bet we wouldn't step in to help out math class. Probably tell math class to suck it. Up tight. The Custom Culture Program will do a lot for kids. Not only will it promote the arts and their creativity, it'll also give them the chance to um, mold themselves as individuals and, and, you know, just be able to do things as a group with their peers and just have fun and be creative and win $50,000. <laughs> How much money do these kids win? 50, jeez. That's great. Makes me want to enroll in school again. You know, maybe somehow I could intercept that money coming in. I think it's just awesome. I think uh, it gives a kid a chance to get his art out there. It's pretty, pretty awesome that that's that important to fans. Judging is kind of a weird thing with art. Like it's all taste. You know what I'm saying? Like no one's the best artist. No one's the best tattooer. No one's the best graffiti writer, it's all taste on who you like and what different style, you know, so you can't really do that. And I also don't believe in everyone's a winner. Some people should be a plumber, you know. There's a lot of money and, and doing wood floors, you know, other, other occupations. So it, it'll be interesting to see all the different stuff that these kids turn in, you know. There's a lot of kids that want to develop their creativity and art as a career, but a lot of times there's um, either people that tell them that you can't make it as a career or parents who want them to stray away from the arts and go more of like a, a corporate route because it's more safe. I just say follow your passion because at the end of the day you have to do something that you're passionate about. But I, I did get involved with uh, art with that and um, totally off on a tangent. What was the question again? My advice for kids, you know, coming up is to take your different influences, different people that you like, put it in a pot and mix it together and try to make it yours, you know what I mean? But it's important for kids to, to be original, man, you know? And it's just um, following your dreams and your passions and, you know, doing what you love. And if that's art, then go for it. Too dark, right? No.